Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Loki, and I'm back with some more Pokemon Silver Nuzlocke as we gotta fight Koga's daughter. Let's do it. Let's... She's not the only one here, right? Oh, it's nothing but female ninjas. I'm Janine. Wait, was that the real Janine? No, it wasn't. It was a fake one. What I was about to say. Hello, Cindy. Can I handle Nidal Queen? I think so. Nightmare's got this. Fighting ninjas. Nightmare ninjas. Mm. All she can do is wag that tail at me, huh? Sorry, Queen. You're going down. Except that's the best you do. Let me tell you right now. Nightmare ain't interested. Nightmare cares only for one thing, battle. Uh, I bet you wanted to win. I wanted to win. Hello. Wahaha. Bet you, dude, I'm Janine. He's gonna do the huck you up pose. I'm gonna huck you up. Night of King. Okay. Well, like I told your queen when I confused her all over herself. Well, I didn't do it. It was specifically Nightmare. I didn't do any of that. That would be really weird. If I started fighting instead of my Pokemon. Goodbye, Naito, Naito King. <laughs> I should really maybe put Kid Fisto back into the party, but I think we'll be fine for now. Yeah, 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 level 47. Getting up there, boy. My disguise was foolproof. Foolproof? Foolproof. There we go. Full, full, full. Oh shit. I meant, I meant to fight the other ones. Oh well. Damn, that cuts out my XP. Ninja! Oh, go bad, huh? That might actually be an issue, because can't- doesn't Crobat learn Crunch? If so, that's gonna really- Screech! It's not gonna work. Oh, to be fair, if it knew Crunch, it would've already used it, so it doesn't know Crunch. That's my one-to-one -on, on thinking on that one. Man, if only Jake hadn't passed. We would have had such a bitch in Crobat. Crobat really is one of the best Pokemon, I think, in Gen 2 in general. He's so fast and strong. Powerful, too. Hello, Ariados. Venvenidos, Ariados. And just like that, Ariados is gone. Here today, gone tomorrow. Man. Who's next? Venomoth. I think Venomoth is actually psychic, right? So it's time to go back to the good old headbutt technique. Headbutt? No, is it? It would be bug flying. I don't think it's a bug psychic type. No, because there has to be poison somewhere in there. No, it has to be a poison psychic, maybe? Whatever, I'm gonna keep hitting it with my head. It's easier than actually hitting it with confusion or something. Leave my presence Venom off. I cannot believe I can't remember the typing of Venom off. Hello, Weezing. And this is unfortunately where we switch off to Butterfing, because you're gonna use Explosion and blow up right in my face. Oh no, you're gonna use Toxic. I mean, that works too, because I can just go to bed. Rest. Wait, what? Oh, I have to wait till I'm actually... Okay. Now to use it. Because Toxic's just gonna make it all go worse before it gets any better. Yeah. Yeah, what now, Weezing, you punk ass? Punk ass! Sludge bomb. It's not gonna do anything. We've already seen it barely does anything, the butter thing. 
Damn, Butterfang. Getting it done. Alright. I respect it. Snore. A move that can only be used when asleep. <laughs> Making it effectively useless almost all the time. I don't have rest. It's doing a fair amount of damage, though, to be honest. It's like one of the strongest moves I have. With Butterfang. At least it's stronger than Rollout, I think. Ooh, that kind of hurt. But that's fine. Because you're going to be dead with this body slam. Wake up and get all of Butterfang all on top of you. Damn right. Going down. Nightmare got 663. Who's the last Pokemon, by the way? Now the Weezing, eh? Time to use the old tactic of going to bed. And then snoring right in his face. Please use Toxic. Yeah, it does nothing. Fuck your technique. Oh, man. Nobody likes to be hit by Toxic. Such a dumb move. The fact that it does basically double the damage uh, every turn. So at the beginning it does regular poison and then it does double that and then it doubles that and then by then, by the time it hits the fourth t hit of Toxic, you're already dead. Like there's very few Pokemon that I think they can just straight up um, survive all that level of toxicity in their body. Alright, they're dead. Body sign. Leave my presence. Butterfang is not amused. Alright, Butterfang. Hello, Jen. You're a tough one. You definitely won. Here's a soul badge. Yeah, I got the soul badge. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Thank you. Now I have the ability to go get toxic with anyone, so I, if I please. Yeah, girl. You get it done. I bet you she gave me that toxic because she actually likes me. She just doesn't want to admit it. It's okay. I'll let you continue being a gym leader. And when you're done screwing around in this gym, you can find me and screw around with me. Alright, let's move on. I think Nightmare is significantly strong enough to try and probably take down Sabrina. Now we need to get Quetz back up on the whole uh, grinding train. EXP share. Yes, please. Then we'll give you the pink bow. Can anyone learn Shadow Ball, by the way? I'm pretty sure Nightmare can, but. Let's see. Wow, Butterfin can learn Shadow Ball. Okay. That's interesting. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Something to think about, for sure. Hmm, should I go fight Sabrina? Or should I go train a little bit more? Hmm. 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 I think I'll see what trainers are up here and see what level they're at. And if not, then I'll just head on my way over to Sabrina's place. Kick her butt or something. Hello, sir. I have a phone on my mom. Aw, dude. Same. Except I've never called my mom. Oh, it doesn't help that it looks like you're wearing diapers. Schoolboy Pip. <gasps> not Voltorb. Oh, these level 27 dudes, huh? I also completely forgot to put a different Pokemon in the front. It's fine. <laughs> Man, just so unbelievably powerful. Just so crazy powerful. Oh no, Magnemite, what will I do? Confusion. I was about to say, I guess psychic types wouldn't really hurt steel? That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense to me now that I think about it. How come psychics can't hurt steel types? It's all about the brain. Unless they got a steel brain. 
I don't know. That's questionable. I guess they wanted Steel to be only hurt by a very select amount of types. It's funny that the select types that Steel is hurt by, though, are some of the most popular types, though. So it's kind of like, okay. <laughs> Weird thing to give them. I guess there's like, actually, now that I think about what are the best Steel types? I'm gonna switch to Nux and just let Nux finish them all. Finish him off. What are the best Steel types? Hmm. Steel water, maybe? No, because then you would still be hurt by ground. I'm trying to think of like specific. When I say best, I'm talking about like um, um, meaning that they have no weakness in their typing. But it's harder to it's hard to think about actually. Oh. There you go. I know that there exists one for uh, Spirit Tomb has no weakness. I know that much. He would have a weakness in, I think, ground, but he has levitate, so he has no weakness. Unless you get rid of his ability to levitate. Alright. I'm gonna go fight Sabrina now. That's the end of today's episode, everyone. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Where's the stop record button?